In this video, we will set up the Barba router and we'll, instead of the namespaces, we will refer to the names of these routes inside of our transitions. Firstly, we need to install it. I've already done it. Uh, yarn add Barba router or npm install Barba router. We'll add it to the package JSON. Here I've got the prefetch from previous video and here is the router. Now inside of the app.js we will get the router, we will call it bar, bar router as well, we will pass it to Barba, say Barba use this router but we will also need to pass in some routes, so we need to create a new constant my routes that will be an array of objects and each object is our route okay the route needs to have a name so let's say the first one will create for the index file that will call it home and then we need to define the path okay our path is slash index dot html that's the first home route and then we have three more pages Second one would be architecture. So let's grab it from here, call it architecture. Detail page is detail. So let's just make it a detail page. HTML and the second one as well. And we'll call it detail one or detail and detail two. Okay, so this will be our route. And when would you use the router and not just the standard namespaces if your site is too big and maybe the path is too long and you want to refer it to just shorter names, then uh, you can use the router for that or when you need a dynamic route. In our case, we don't have any dynamic routes, but if you look at the example of Barba, you could define a path that matches multiple pages by using the ID flag, which would be a dynamic parameter of these routes. Okay, so we don't have this setup on our site, so we need to always refer to the dot index HTML. But if you're using on a, if you're using WordPress site or any other dynamic generated routes for your files, then you can use the path like this. Okay, so now we just need to pass the routes to our Barber router. So let's go back. And inside of the use, we'll pass in routes as my routes. Let's rename it. Okay, so now we're passing it. We have four routes. they matching the file names of our pages. And now inside of our transitions, we can refer inside of the rules, not to the namespace, but to the route names okay so before we do that let's firstly console log in the enter hook we will console log the data and we'll see what the route name is again this could be used for any any logic inside of your views and rules so let's save it view it in a browser and when we enter a page, so let's go to architecture, we see the console log. And inside of the next container, we see the route with the name. The parameter is empty. The params is empty because we don't have the dynamic routes. And the current page was the index, which the name of the route was home. Okay, so again, this route setup could be used inside of the logic of your transitions and makes it a little bit more powerful than the namespace if we have another transition with the same setup but a defined a route instead of namespace it would be stronger than the transition with the namespace okay so refer to the videos where we covered the strengths of the animations and the rules and conditions and that's how you set up the routes, pass it to Barba or Barba router to Barba with the routes array.
Now we can reuse these routes inside of the logic. So the router gives you another set, another weapon inside of the logic. So let's go to the from detail. We have two pages that share this namespace, but maybe we want this animation to happen only when you're leaving a specific project or the detail detail number two. Okay, so instead of namespace, namespace we will refer to the route with the detail two. And that's the only place or only time when this transition will be used. So if I save it and go to the detail page, which refers to the detail page HTML, we should not see that leaving page or leaving transition only when we're leaving the detail page two. Okay, so let's go back, refresh the page and go to the first, the first page. When we're leaving this one, it will be broken. It will be not as smooth. But if we go to the detail two and leave this page, we see the nice transition. Okay, so Barbar Router gives you another flexibility in terms of how you can structure your routes and refer to them inside of your transitions. Now let's recap what we've done in this video. We've installed the Barbar Router. We've created an array of routes. Each route has a name and a path matching our files. And then we're passing the Barbar Router to the Barbar plugin or Barbar Router plugin to Barbar and passing the routes as well. Then we can reuse them and reuse the names of them, reuse the parameters if we had dynamic routes inside of our transitions logic. Okay, so here we are reusing the route with the detail two and only playing this transition for that route.